From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. We're feeling a bit cooler this morning. Your weather forecast is coming up in just a few minutes. Good morning, I'm James Tully, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. A former police officer charged in a DUI crash that killed a Polk County boy last year will be sentenced today. Deputies say that John Camfield hit five Dundee Ridge Academy Middle School kids as they walked home from their bus stop. 13 year old Jaheem Robertson died. We're told Camfield blew almost twice the legal limit several hours after the deadly crash. He's pleaded no contest. He could face up to 40 years in prison. Treasure Island police say they've caught the man who exposed himself to a teenage girl. Police say Joshua Banks followed the girl in his car and then took off his pants. He was also arrested for exposing himself in December. Police say flashing is a misdemeanor no matter how many times it happens unless the victim is younger than 16. Today we're expecting to hear from Hillsborough County school leaders on Lee Elementary. It has been more than six months since a fire gutted that building. The city council wants some answers on what the district plans to do, but we're told the district is still waiting for a report from their engineer. The 112 year old building caught fire when power was restored after Hurricane Irma. The next time you go to, be to the beach in Gulfport, you'll want to pay attention to how long you leave your car parked. Parking fines are going up. The city of Gulfport doubled prices from $15 to $30 per fine. Disabled parking violations stay at $250 each. The city decided to up the cost because they were the lowest in Pinellas County. For a full list of beach parking fines, you can head over to abcactionnews.com. And gator courtship season is in full swing. That means we're seeing gators turn up in strange places looking for a date. Alligator ended up in a swimming pool in an apartment complex in Fort Myers this week. Deputies able to get that gator out of the pool and safely relocate it to another area. We've seen them at people's front doors as we turn things over to Jason. We've seen them on people's lawns. So again, be careful out there. Yep, and the warm weather is definitely causing them to come out as well too. Now that we've been seeing the warmer conditions, especially after how cool March was. As we look at the numbers this morning, we're sitting into the upper 50s and low 60s. A bit of a refreshing start out there now that the humidity has taken a drop. But this afternoon, we're right back to the spring warmth that we've been seeing the last few days low to mid 70s by the noon hour and we're looking for high temperatures today generally into the lower 80s for most of us some spots east and south of interstate 75 south of i4 you could potentially see your numbers at about 84 to 85 but the humidity stays low today so it will feel much more comfortable than it's been with lots of sunshine james all right thank you jason you can now get your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and don't forget to download the free abc action news app have a great morning don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk. And push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.